Hi, are you sometimes looking for your next big game idea, but it just doesn't come to your mind? I know the problem and so do many other devs. The ideas are never there when you need them and when they are, they are the wrong ones. But I have found a solution to this problem. I call it the concept book. What exactly it is and how you can create one for yourself is what I'm going to show you in this video. But what exactly is a concept book in the first place? It's a collection of all the ideas and concepts I've ever had. It's a place where I can collect all the thoughts and ideas in a structured way. The ideas are divided into different categories. Whenever I need ideas, I open my concept book and start mixing different ideas from different categories together. I will show you now how a concept book can look like and how I use it. Later in this video, I will give you some tips on how to constantly fill the concept book with new ideas. And you don't need to be creative for this, so stay tuned. I built my concept book here in Miro. And Miro is an online whiteboard and very useful for things like this. But you can use any software you want, for example, also Google Sheets or Docs. And if you are more the analog type, then it truly also works with pen and paper. Feel free to write me your favorite tool in the comments after the video. My real concept book is much more extensive, but I have created an example concept book for you. There are not many entries in it, but it will help you to understand the concept behind it. First of all, I have different categories. Story ideas, mechanic ideas, technology ideas, and aesthetic ideas. You can of course add more categories, but for me it works very well with these four. Every time I have an idea in my head, I write it down here. Often it's just part of an idea. A game about a lost astronaut, a location-based game like Pokemon Go, or just something with dices. I then try assign these ideas into the different categories the way they fit best. But sometimes I already have a whole game concept in my mind. For example, thrown away toys of a kid try to get back into the house to overthrow the kid's new toy. I imagine the whole thing as painted 2D and as a RPG rhythm game. This idea can be split up in storyline. So the storyline is thrown away toys, trying to get back into the house to overthrow the kid's new toy. Mechanic is a mix of an RPG and a fast rhythm game. The style is hand-drawn 2D and I have no special technology idea for this, so it is empty. And then I save those snippets in my concept book. And the ideas are not always good, sometimes a bit crazy. I mean, thrown away toys that fight back their way into the house? I don't know. But the concept book is about the mass of ideas. Maybe the whole game idea does not work well. However, sometime in the future, you maybe will have a crazy game mechanic, but will have no good style or story for it. And then you can open your concept book and look at all your story and aesthetic ideas. Or if you have absolutely no clue what to develop, you can take one of your ideas and try to mix it with other ideas from your concept book in your head. How about if we combine the astronaut story with one involving cube planets? Or maybe as a quick action-paced roguelike. You could spread the planets around the real world and make the game location-based. You can see that there are many possibilities. With this method, you will come up with ideas you never would have thought of before. Being the boss in the office and your employees are chess pieces? That doesn't sound so bad. Or you run through the office as a boss in VR. Instead of managing your employees, you annoy and disturb them. And many of these ideas will be stupid, but with each new entry, many, many new ideas arise. But now, the most important question. How do I fill up such a book with ideas? Here are tips to help your concept book grow quickly. You should always have your concept book handy, so that if you suddenly have an idea, you can write it down. This way you create space for new ideas in your head. 
The moment you write down the idea, your brain says, hey, I don't have to think about this idea anymore to remember it. And suddenly you have more room for new ideas. Ideas come up in different situations. You always should take the time to write them down. Look at your favorite games. There must be something about these games that makes you like them so much. Break these games down into their subconcepts and write them in your concept book. Later, you can always mix them up and generate new game ideas that don't exist yet. It's not about copying the games, it's about saving parts of those ideas that you like. Watch devlogs. And I don't mean that you should steal other games' ideas. That's not nice. But in devlogs you often see things that inspire you. Maybe someone in their RPG devlog shows a landscape with mountains. And why you don't want to make an RPG, the mountains inspire you to make a climbing game. And you write that in your concept book. Let the real world inspire you. You sometimes do something in the real world. You go to a restaurant, you go for a walk with your dog in the park, or you are stuck in a traffic jam. All those situations can be translated into ideas. Manage the restaurant's customers in a management game. Or a story about a guy that goes out with his dog and the dog runs away. And he now tries to find this dog. And while you are waiting in your car, you maybe have the visual idea of an isometric traffic jam game on a rainy day. All those ideas are not enough for a great game concept, but they are the starting point for something. All you need to do now is to evolve them into something amazing. And that's maybe a good topic for another video. But anyway, the bigger your concept book gets, the more ideas you can generate with it. I hope you found the video helpful and you are able now to create your own concept book. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot and you also won't miss any future content. If you would like to see more content on game concept topics, feel free to comment below. Let me know if I should make more content about game concepts. Thanks for watching and see you next time.